how do you guys think that the finale launches us into the next season? I know it's not, we haven't you know, talked about what's going to happen in season what, six now, but but there's definitely an avenue there. Yeah, I believe the ending uh, of Cobra Kai definitely opens a lot of new doors and opportunities and uh, possible outcomes of the show. And pretty much, I think it shows that Cobra Kai never dies, what Una says. Even though you think that it might be done and you think that the reign is over, it's, it's really not. Do you think we'll get Terry Silver coming back? Do you feel like there's any way that a character like Terry Silver go just goes down because he gets handcuffed and put into the no, back of a cop car? No, I think there's no stopping Terry Silver. Any guy that evil with that much money, he's gonna find a way to get back to get us. But we'll be ready. I mean, the crease misdirect. You know, what was your impression of that? That was now that he's not dead, he's out and he's escaped from jail. Please, I'm begging you. For what? Mercy. That doesn't bode well for our friends, does it? Definitely uh, not, especially I, after how Johnny and Daniel left things with him in the prison. So I mean, we'll be training the law, and ready. stopping this dude anymore. At first, we always had the you know nice assurance that they're not going to do anything that illegal, but not anymore. Who knows? Yeah. He's, he's out for blood now. There's a lot of illegal stuff happening. Somebody should call the cops. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. I mean, the end there, we... We straight up, we committed so many felonies. That this night. guy burned I mean, down a store. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we broke Call into the like, police. And beat everyone up. Silver is dividing and conquering. If this continues, all that we have fought for will not even be memory. I need you to see which of my students are ready to take the next step. Get in your own words, how would you describe how intense the rivalry is this season between Cobra Kai and the Miyagi-Do Eagle Fang group? We've been talking about this all day, is that like the stakes are just like, it went from zero to 100 this season. I mean, it is, by the end, we are all out. It is intense, you know? Yeah. And I think the bigger and bigger this gets, the more everyone's drawn into it. So even characters like Anthony, who did not want to be part of this karate world, is now a part of it. So I think that you can just see by the sheer amount of people that are involved that this has gotten way out of hand. <laughs> the fight scenes, they've always been great on the show, but this season they feel more brutal. They feel like street <laughs> fights this season. <laughs> oh yeah, no rule. Adult classes are on Wednesday. We're not here to take a lesson. We're here to teach you one. What was it like shooting these? I believe shooting all of these scenes were incredible. I mean, it was just really fun to learn the choreography and be able to work with all of these different characters and stunt performers. And having each other was really important for us because, you know, at, at times we did struggle, but we had each other to build each other up. And uh, I think it was just really cool to fight and have a great time on set. Uh, it's really showing on camera. What do you think? When you were watching these fights back, you're like, oh my God, this, this is way more intense than past seasons. Yes, yeah, of course. I mean, I, I think all of it felt so in the moment while we were filming it, because a lot of times they were adjusting moves and um, changing the fight choreography or we were learning it in between takes. And so it all just felt so intense. But it seems like the storylines are really focusing on the adults this season, on the, the rivalry between Silver and Johnny and Daniel and, and Chosen as well. And the kids, they're definitely involved, but it's like they've got a back burner of rivalries happening. Dallas and I have been able to play out this rivalry between us for the last two seasons. And I think luckily we still get to do stuff with that, but I think it's been really fun to see the adult rivalry as well and how really we're all connected in all these because yeah. it's like everybody hates everybody at this point or loves them. Everybody's got an enemy and a buddy. I think it's really interesting to see how these all connect. By the end of the season, do you do you guys feel like Dallas, your character went from being bullied to being a bully. Does he see Cobra Kai for what it is now? I personally believe that he sees Cobra Kai for what it is. I mean, it shows it in the evidence on camera. You see pretty much what happens and between the interaction with Terry Silver and Tori. I mean, it's hurtful and it breaks your heart, but it, it's the truth. So pretty much, I think he sees Cobra Kai for what it is, even though he doesn't want to believe. Do you think he'll be able to patch things up with Anthony and, and with Robbie? I think it's going to be easier to patch things up with Robbie more than Anthony. Yeah. Just because that whole battle between Anthony and Kenny is so complex and intricate. Even though the relationship between Robbie and Kenny is, is complex as well, I just think um, it's going to be tougher to you know, mend the relationship between Anthony and I. You know, what about for your character? I mean, she started in, e I believe it was Eagle Fang, right? And then right. went to Cobra Kai just because she, you know, was committed. What do you feel like her head is at at the end of the season? She just wants to keep learning and growing from her peers and just keep getting better. And I'm excited to see where that leads her in the future.